Here we see the frame with the two Odroids at the end of the last video. What we're going to do in today's video is we're going to build the second frame. My original idea at the end of the last video was to combine both frames and have a single 400 watt power supply. I've now decided to keep with the 200 watt power supplies and keep the frames entirely separate. What we're doing here is assembling the side of the second frame. The frame is constructed out of maker beam aluminium struts. I've tried as much as possible not to cut these struts and to use the lens that it comes supplied in. However, as the size of the Odroid board is 11 centimeters, and each of the struts is 1 centimeter in diameter, this means the section of strut between the two vertical halves has to be 9 centimeters in size. Unfortunately, this is a size that is not supplied, so I've had to cut down the side struts to 9 centimeters. These struts we're putting in at the moment are the ones which are going to hold the power supply. These can be adjusted for the length of the power supply quite easily by moving the brackets slightly further along the strut. Using maker beam struts like this, while slightly more expensive than a standard case, does give you flexibility in creating your prototype. And should anything need to be changed or any radical changes to the design itself, it's quite easy to actually disassemble and reassemble it in a different configuration. Now we've almost completed the first side, the lower half of the first side, and now we're going to add on to the second side. We're using right angle brackets here in order that none of the screws or bolts actually stick out to the side, because we're fairly limited in the rack for the width of the two assemblies. All the nuts and bolts we're using are standard M3. Now just making sure that the thing is properly lined up and everything is square. We can then tighten up all the bolts and then the bottom of the frame will have been completed. Next stage is to go for level 2 for the second Odroid. At the end of each of these 30 centimeter struts, there's a small black cube. This black cube is a novel method for actually connecting struts that come in at right angles. Now we're just setting up the horizontal strut here and this will end up holding the power distribution block that takes the cables in from the power supply and distributes it to both of the Odroids. These horizontal struts also help to keep the frame quite rigid. Now we can add in the nuts and bolts to allow us to start to work up to the second level. Having put four sets of L brackets in, we can now put in the vertical uprights.
the cooling fan will actually be bolted to the back of these vertical uprights and will sit just above the power supply. Using MakerBeam makes the construction of these prototypes very straightforward. You just need a bit of forethought to work out where everything goes. Now we're just about to put the last units on. This is the final 20cm horizontals. Once these are in place, there's a simple couple of little horizontal 9cm cut struts at the front to put in, and then the unit will be complete. Again we're using the corner cubes at the back, which makes it nice and tidy, and saves putting additional brackets in. There'll be a link in the description below of where you can actually get Maker Beam struts. So we're almost there now, we're just lining up the uh, horizontal struts, tightening up the bolts, checking for size, and making sure everything lines up. Now the last two bits we have to put in are the 9cm horizontal struts at the front of the unit. These add in additional stability and help keep the frame straight. Plus it will also allow us to actually bolt onto the front of the unit a 3D printed fascia. And now we're putting in the standoffs, which will be used to actually sit the second Odroid at the top. We're using the same size of standoffs as we did in the original. And one more horizontal strut to go in, and the unit itself will be complete. Just as I was finishing recording this video, the 200 watt power supply from HTPlex arrived. So just after we put the strut in, we'll be adding in the power supply. And there we have it, the unit is now complete. So having completed the unit, one last check to make sure that the unit will fit in the rack beside its companion, and it fits nicely. And then on to mounting the 
HD Plex 200 watt power supply. This is a newer model of the HD Plex power supply. This is a 200 watt 19 volt 10 and a half amp supply. The previous unit was a 19 volt 180 watt supply left over from a previous project. But both will actually do the job quite nicely. And it is very much the same size as the previous unit and will fit into the rack just behind the bottom Odroid, leaving enough room for the fan immediately above it. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching.